everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be another what to eat on my WW. Um, I am cooking breakfast right now. So while that's cooking, I'm going to show you guys kind of an easier way to make the Dagnolia or Dagnola. How do you pronounce it? Anyways, the whipped coffee. This doesn't make like a whip per se, but it takes way less time. I don't have to get the hand mixer out. Um, so it's much easier for me. Um, and I'm going to be using one tablespoon of instant coffee because I'm pretty sure two tablespoons of instant coffee is like a lot of cups of coffee. So I don't know. So I'm just going to do one tablespoon and then one tablespoon of my sweetener. And then I'm going to grab one tablespoon of hot water. And I could be wrong about the whole like two tablespoons of instant coffee is a lot of actual cups of coffee made. Um, I just heard that so um, I don't want to have like a lot of coffee so that's what I'm going to do today. Um, so what I did was I put all my stuff in a jar, put a lid on it, twisted it and we're going to shake this for like 30 to 40 seconds. Gives you an arm workout still. I'm gonna grab my ice and my almond milk. So we got ice in my mason jar. I am going to stick my almond milk in here. Sorry, cashew milk. <laughs> Unsweetened cashew milk. I spilled apparently. So I've been usually using the um, sugar-free maple syrup by Walden Farms. I think it's like maple pecan or something or walnut I can't remember but I used the last of it yesterday and my other bottles downstairs and I'm too lazy to go downstairs so I'm gonna use half a tablespoon of this um, vanilla toffee caramel coffee creamer for one point just to give it a little bit more flavor and then I'm gonna put my um, coffee on top now I don't have like my little spatula so this is gonna be a struggle but if you can see it makes like a whipped like more like a foam, I guess you could say. So I saw this on TikTok and I guess it's called frappe, the way they do it this way. Um, in France or somewhere, I can't remember, but anyways, it's much easier. I didn't make a lot today because I just, I don't want so much coffee, but hopefully it still tastes right. good. So my coffee is ready. I'm gonna go finish making breakfast and we'll see you guys when it's all done. All right guys, I am sitting down for Let's just call this lunch because it is like 12 o'clock. Um, today I actually woke up a little bit earlier than usual, but again, I just sat in my bed and watched YouTube videos. Um, I should probably get out of that habit and you know make a routine. I was there for a while, but anyways, I'm gonna mix up my coffee. So my coffee is two points, one for the coffee creamer and then one for the unsweetened cashew milk. Let's just mix it all up. Mm. I like it with the two tablespoons of coffee, but I'm worried that it's a lot of coffee. Um, if somebody knows, um, if I'm wrong, please let me know. But anyways, this is the first time trying the Morning Star. Um, I think they're are they breakfast patties or are they just burgers? I can't remember. So I thought I would give it a try on camera. They have like sausage breakfast patties that I bought in from the states before, but I've never had like these type. They smell really good. Mmm. That's good. Mm-hmm. I'm buying those again. The flavors there, they're only three points. And like, I originally bought these for like tater tots because the ground beef at the store or the extra lean ground beef at the store was really expensive. So I thought I can buy these and crumble them up on top of like um, tater tots and make like loaded tater tots. but. That is delicious for breakfast and I will definitely be buying them again. I'll be trying the other ones as well. Yum. So yeah, like I'm gonna enjoy this breakfast. I can't believe how good they are. I'm not gonna eat everything on camera, but I'm sure you've tried them before, but if you haven't, go and buy them. I promise you they're delicious. Um, so coffee's two points. My, um, 
patties, three points, two eggs for four points, and then one point's worth of fat-free, like, mixed cheddar cheese. So all together, my lunch is 10 points, um, but I'm gonna eat this, and then we'll see you guys back later. All right, guys, so I am going to try and work out. Um, I haven't been feeling the best lately. I've been getting, like, my migraines back and stuff. I don't know, um... If you guys have been following me for a while, you know, you know what I'm talking about. I used to have idiopathic intracranial hypertension and I used, just used to get like bad headaches and stuff and it's gone apparently, but um, I still get symptoms which can happen or what they're saying is I could still have it, but like my optic nerves and uh, my pressures and my spinal fluid could be down. But I could still have it. It's confusing but I've been getting headaches and it might be just due to stress and everything and it might just be my normal. Anyways I'm trying not to let that you know affect me. I'm gonna do some cardio, maybe some weights, some floor work but I need to work on my water because it's been horrible. Um, so yeah I'm gonna try and just get like maybe even a half an hour that's better than nothing. Um, I'm not going to film anything today, so I'll come back on here and let you guys know how I did. Alright guys, I'm done my workout. Um, this glare from the sun is horrible. But anyways, I had a good workout. Um, I did half an hour. I did about 20, well maybe like 16 minutes of cardio. And then I did like um, a weight uh, video, like just upper arms and stuff. And then a couple like little short videos on YouTube that um, incorporate like butt and everything. So um, I did like a full body workout, I guess. It's better than nothing. Um, oh, forgot to pause it. Um, I did, it says I burnt 254 calories, which is, is good. I mean, I got up and moved and that's all that's important. I'm gonna head and have a shower um, and then we'll see you guys back for dinner time. Okay, so as you saw, I already had dinner. Um, I'm trying to use up what I have in my house right now because I'm trying not to go downtown until like my husband gets home. Um, so I'm basically just using what I have. Um, dinner was really good and if you guys wanted to know what I used, I will post a picture um, so you can see the noodles and the sauce and the chicken wontons that I used. I get the chicken wontons from Costco Canada and when I go down I usually just stock up on them. Um, funny fact, I don't really like cilantro but I don't mind the chicken wontons so um, that's good. But anyways, dinner put me up to 18 points. Um, I'm sitting down, I'm having like a pre-snack I guess, but I'm gonna have some water. And I'm also gonna have this rice cake here. So it's just a plain rice cake for one point, one point's worth of PB and me powder, and zero points for the no sugar added raspberry preserves. Um, so that will put me at 20 points for the day. I'm trying to stay within 30 points today because um, yesterday I had a over point day and I was trying to get blue dots throughout this whole month, which probably was a little bit of like, um, not an unrealistic goal, but probably like a, a big goal for me right now. So um, I'm not like mad about it, but I just want to kind of try to stay under 36 points today. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to watch some Netflix here and then we'll see you guys back when I have my next snack. Alright guys, so it is snack time. I know this is not the healthiest snack, but I was craving nachos. I have nachos here. They are 10 points. Um, I went a little bit over the serving size, so it usually would be 8 points, but like I said, I have 10 points worth. I found this um, new like corn melody um, from Superstore. It comes with corn, black olives, green olives, some red peppers. A quarter of a cup is only one point and I think that's really good just to add it to anything. Um, I believe it would probably would be points on the other plans because there's olives and things in there as well. So one point for that and then I have three points worth of light cheese. And over here I have my cheese sauce and my salsa. The salsa is zero points but the cheese sauce is one point. So this is a 15 point snack. So I know that the snack may seem really high in points, but um, I was craving nachos and I have the points. I'm sitting down to watch my TV series and I just wanted something like that. So I usually try to give in to my cravings and make them lower point or point friendly. Um, that's going to put me at 35 out of 36 points for today, which I was trying to stay at 30 today because I had a higher point day yesterday. I went over. Um, 
my points and I didn't get a blue dot, but you know what? That's okay. I'm probably gonna end up having a fruit cup later, so I won't end the video here, but we'll see you guys when I eat next. All right, guys, I'm sitting down for snack. I am having some um, peaches. These ones that I buy are packed in its own juice and like sweetened with a sweetener, so it's zero points. Um, I have been finding these really handy um, because it's hard to find fresh fruit and when I'm not shopping like every week, I don't wanna have fresh fruit in the house that's gonna go bad. So this has been really good. Um, it's been a lifesaver for me. I'm still able to get in fruit. I know it's not fresh fruit, but it's the best option I have right now. Um, I'm ending the night at 35 out of 36 points. I am happy about that, even though I wanted to do 30 because of the mishap, but you know what? It's life. I feel like every time I come on here, it's like the most random food. Um, but honestly, like I'm just trying to eat what I have in the house. Um, I'm just trying to work the program while everything is going on. Like I just, I just want to try my best and you know, if I've got to use what's in the house, that's what I got to do. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure to give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you guys can see more of my weight loss journey. I'm also trying to post things other than weight loss on here. I've tried it before, um, like a while ago and I didn't, you know, I don't know if you guys like it. Um, I don't know, I'm trying, you know, being at home, not being at work, I'm trying to entertain myself and trying to figure out some new videos and yeah, I don't know. Let me know down below what you guys would like to see. Um, I'm trying to do more cook with me's like I said and maybe we can do a Q&A like husband and wife edition because I know you guys like to see my husband. But anyways, that is the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one.